What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you what to do if your Xbox One is experiencing the black screen of death. Let's get right into this. So yes, just like the PlayStation 4 with the black screen of death, also known on the PlayStation 4 as the blue screen of death, the Xbox One does have a very similar issue at times, but it can be fixed very quickly, and I'm going to be sharing the quick fixes in this video. But first, I just want to mention that, yes, these will work for most people, however, they will not work for everybody. It depends on what the problem is with your console. I do recommend checking these quick fixes out first, but if they do not work, then I do recommend to take your console in to get repaired and see what the bigger issue actually Actually is. With that being said, let's start out with these quick fixes. So the first quick fix, in my opinion, is common sense, at least to me, but whenever I share these in these videos, I do get a lot of comments and people saying that they didn't even realize and even think about checking this part out, and that is simply checking out the HDMI cable. Now before you go and replace the HDMI cable, there's a few things to check out first. The first thing is to go and see if your TV does have different HDMI ports and simply plug your HDMI cable into a different port and change the inputs and see if that works for you. I know my Myself, my TV actually has a faulty HDMI cable and I found out the very same way with I think the PS3 with the black screen of death. Now I did realize that, I think it's HDMI port 1 for me, but I do recommend changing the ports to see if that is an issue you guys are experiencing as well. If changing the HDMI port on your TV doesn't work for you, I do recommend at least checking out a different TV and try plugging your Xbox into a different TV to see if that works. Maybe there is a bigger problem with your TV. Now if everything looks fine there, I do recommend inspecting your HDMI ports, not only on the Xbox itself, but also on the TV and look for any damage, wear and tear, or anything out of the ordinary. If everything looks fine there, I do recommend checking changing out and replacing your HDMI cable and see if that is the issue. Now if you checked everything for the HDMI cable and it still is not working and you still are experiencing the black screen of death, move on to the next method and the next method is to reset the display settings. To do this, you're going to press the power button, bind button and the eject button if you are having a physical copy console until you hear the first beep. You are going to continue pressing the bind and eject button until you hear the second beep, so you're just going to release the power button after the first beep, but continue pressing the eject and bind button until you hear the second beep. Now on the Xbox controller, you're going to press the Xbox button to open up the guide on the screen. You're going to then click on settings, click on general, and then click on TV and display options. Under here, you're gonna simply select the resolution that you want for your TV and see if that does work for you. Now, if resetting the display settings worked for you, great. If not, and you are still experiencing the black screen of death for your Xbox One, I do recommend resetting your console. To do this, you're gonna want to make sure your Xbox One is completely turned off. You're then gonna unplug the HDMI and power cables, and you're gonna leave it for about five minutes. Now you can leave it for longer if you wish, but after about five minutes, you can reconnect all the cables and press and hold the bind and eject button for five to six seconds, then press the power button. You should hear the first beep. At this point, you're going to keep pressing the bind and eject button for 10 more seconds until you hear the second beep. Then on your Xbox controller, you're going to press the Xbox button once again, and on the screen, you're going to select reset Xbox, and then first option you're going to select is to keep games and apps and try to see if resetting it that way does work for you. Basically, it is going to keep all your files and games and it's not going to rate erase and factory reset your console. If that does work for you, great. If you still are experiencing the black screen to death, you're going to have to go through these last steps, but this time you're going to select remove everything and that is basically going to do a hard factory reset on the console and in a lot of cases that will work for you. The only thing is you will lose everything, but you can just re-sign into your Xbox accounts and go and download all of your games once again. So it is a little bit of a hassle, but if you are experiencing the problem, of the black screen of death, I do recommend to do all these steps, and at the very last resort, go and factory reset your console, just like I shared in this video. So hopefully one of these methods do work. In a lot of cases I find with a lot of these console videos, 
A lot of the time it is people's HDMI cables and they just don't realize it. They think their console is not working and they think it's a bigger problem, but in most cases it just is an HDMI cable, which is very inexpensive. But I do recommend if that doesn't work, checking out the other methods as well. Hope this helps you fix your Xbox One. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.